Hey guys, welcome in our first video from Sirius. Yeah, we haven't uh, figured out the name yet, so probably we should ask ChatGPT about it. But I'm Stash. And I'm Marcin. And uh, we are going to talk not only about hot topics regarding AI, ChatGPT, but also fundamental principles uh, which are likely to happen in all your big data projects. First one, let's say we already have budget for our project. We do decide that uh, we would like to implement machine learning or some other big data technology in our business processes. So what we need to take to it into account uh, when we start our, our work? Yeah, that's a very, that's a very good question. Because when you, when you start a machine learning project, it's very tempting to to optimize for accuracy, that's what you do when you when, when you want to win a Kaggle comp competition. But that's a trap. There are many factors you need to keep into uh, account. You need to remember about when you when you start such a project. So, for instance, how fast does your model predict? How fast it has to predict? Because if you have a requirement that the prediction has to happen within tw ten or, or twenty milliseconds, that's quite a limitation and you need to remember about it from day, day one. Similar limitation is about memory requirements. So um, let's say you want to run your model on a very small device, then you need to build the model with thinking about it from, from day one with, uh, with very limited uh, memory from, from day one, because it might be that you build the model which works, which gives you very good results, but you are not able to run it on the de device it was aimed for. Other than that, it's good to remember about how hard it would be to collect the data for, for future retraining or how expensive the retraining would be later on. Yeah, first one you mentioned accuracy, but uh, in the details, what does it mean? Well, so there are many metrics you can you can take uh, you can take into into account when you when you when you build the model, but overall, the first of all you need to you need to select the right metric, and other than that, make sure you don't not only looking into into the numbers, but you you are looking into the limitations I mentioned later on, so you actually can run the model in production with such a score because otherwise it's just kind of academic exercise which won't be applicable in production. Okay. Uh, I assume that with that point, the prediction and prediction latency is pretty pretty close to it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so let's say you, you are running an e-commerce, so you cannot really afford for the model to, to run in batch. You cannot really afford for the model to to take half a day to, to to provide you the best prediction ever, the best recommendation ever. If you are in such an environment, you have to react quick, even if the recommendation is not perfect. You you want the you you want to aim for for good enough. Otherwise, you you won't be able to. You you will never basically uh, land in production. And the, the the whole point of machine learning is that you have that in production that the model is facing customer, that the model is actually affecting your business. Mm, right. So probably mm, it requires not only a bunch of experts uh, on, on board, but also like hard software. Uh, I mean, you need to have machines to, to run on it. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much the homework one need to do before starting the starting the project. So first of all, we need to have people with experience in building the models and with some intuition what is doable, what is not, what is not. The, the, the technical people, the data scientists have to communicate with the business. They have to ask the business the right question. They have to understand the problem in the details. So what we need to achieve how exactly it happens right now because that's a good uh, that's a good hint for for the implementation so for instance how a given problem is being automated at at this moment 
how the given problem is being handled by human at this moment and how we can improve that with uh, with machine with machine learning and then we need to think about the hardware and we need to think about if we have that hardware maybe we can go to to the cloud how will we utilize the hardware how expensive it will be and if if the if what we are using today during the training is matching what is required in production because let's say if we are using top top gpu for for the training and we are bragging that we have 99 percent of uh, of accuracy that's not very practical if we are about to run run the model on much smaller device okay see see a point but uh, you mentioned all the points which are pretty pretty fantastic but what about the costs i mean you can spend all your money for for machine learning and that's that's probably true in uh, in majority of situation how i can avoid you know spending all my budget to some machines oh yeah absolutely so when it gets to machine learning and and costs sky is the limit right so you have to think about the the cost of cloud services or the hardware you're about to buy, but also about everything around. So keep in mind that development is a cost. Keep in mind that maintenance is also a cost. So if you, let's say you retrain the model and if you roll it out to production over and over again, and if it takes, I don't know, two weeks of your engineer to do that, if you don't have enough automation or, or for some reason it's uh, it's so hard, then it doesn't seem to be it doesn't seem to be very very practical. So, on one hand, it's good to identify these kind of challenges upfront, and also it's good to keep an eye on the maintenance costs during the project and see which parts of the uh, of the maintenance, which parts of the of the cost we can address, we can we can improve. Yeah. Okay. And for 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 the end. Any roadmap, any hints for guys who would like to start with uh, with projects, such a project in in their organization? I would say I would say the main the main hint, uh, hint I would I would give is don't don't follow the hype. Just just think about what is practical in your business. Try to get into production as fast as possible. And when I say into production. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have some fancy technologies like I don't know some kube flow, some Kubernetes, or things like that. It's not about that. It's about facing the customer. So you, your model is actually affecting the customers. It's changing something in their life, but it's changing something in in your life as well, in your organization's life as well. So, for instance, if you are doing a recommendation system, it's good that you, you are in production very early, so you can see how that affects the sales, how that affects your results. So I, I assume that deliver the business value as fast as it's possible. Exactly, exactly, and that's iterate it. from that point. Right, I think that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you.